Culture Corner, the show where we review all things pop culture. I'm Zach Rusty. And I'm Margaret. And today we will be taking a look at the 2008 movie Mamma Mia. Mm -hmm. And um, with and Mamma Mia was at was our late friend Samantha Peskin's favorite movie. Yep, it was. And um, this is a special um, uh, edition of uh, Pop Culture Corner because this um, Pop Culture Corner episode movie is dedicated um, in memory of her and uh, her favorite song um, from this movie um, was Dancing Queen. Promoted as Mamma Mia, the movie is a 2008 jukebox musical romantic comedy film directed by Philida Lloyd and written by Katherine Johnson based on her book from the 1999 musical of the same name. So when it was making its rounds in the movies, it was also on Broadway as well. Yep, and the film is based on songs um, from the pop group um, ABBA, um, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, um, with additional music composed by ABBA member Benny Anderson. And the film features an ensemble cast, including Christine Baranski, Pierce Bronson, Dominic Cooper, Colin Firth, Amanda Seyfried, Stellan Skarsgård, Meryl Streep, and Julie Walters. Yep, and uh, Mamma Mia tells the story of, of Sophie Sheridan, who's played by Amanda Seyfried, Sey Seyfried who is a 20-year-old bride-to-be who reveals to her bridesmaids that she had invited three men that could be possibly her father to her wedding without Donna knowing. The film was an international co-production between Germany, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It was co-produced by Relativity Media, Playtone, and Little Star Productions. And she does not reveal that she believes one of them is her father, the three men, but does explain that it was her who sent the wedding invitations, not her mother. And uh, she tells them to hide so that Donna will be surprised by the old friends of whom she so often favorably speaks. Yep, which are a which are a architect by the name of it's Sam Carmichael, who is played by Pierce Brosnan, a British banker named Harry Bright, who is played by Colin Firth, and Bill Anderson, an adventurer who is played by Stellan Skarsgård. Yep. They overhear Donna working and swear that they will not reveal Sophie's secret. Donna spies on them and is surprised to find herself facing her former lover the song Mamma Mia, asking him to leave. And they confide in Tanya and Rosie, Kitita, that she truly does not know which of the three had fathered Sophie. And Tanya and Rosie um, rally their, her spirits by getting her to dance with an all uh, female ensemble of staff and islanders, the song Dancing Queen. And Sophie finds the men aboard Bill's sailboat and they sail around fellow Carrie telling stories. Um, and then like it primarily uh, took place on the island of Sophilos, Greece from August to September 2007. Yep. And Mamma Mia was released on June 30th, 2008 and had a budget of $52 million. Yep, and um, Mamma Mia held its world premiere on June 30th, 2008 at Leicester Square in London and premiered on July 4th, 2008 in Stockholm, Sweden, with ABBA members Anderson, Bajor Nulovace, Annie Fried Lingsang, and Eng the Felsen in attendance. And the film was released theatrically on July 10th in the United Kingdom on July 17th in Germany, and on July 18th in the United States. Yep, and, and Mamma Mia, it's money back, and more, with a total of $611.3 million in the box office, with mixed reviews from critics. Yep, and the mixed reviews from the critics included um, criticizing that the singers were inexperienced and not so good tone, but in my opinion, I thought they were really good singers with really good tone. So, in my opinion, you don't really have to be a professional singer to know how to sing. It can just come to you naturally without having any lessons or being taught. So I thought they did a good job of the singing. Um, one of my favorites in the, um, in, in the singing department would be just 
would be Meryl Streep, who who was actually who did actually um who was actually in the original Broadway production of Mamma Mia. Yep. Um, I also found Mamma Mia to be a fantastic movie. The vid the background was the background design was amazing. Was phenomenal. It was. The the characters were really good. The songs were very, were memorable. The and the story was really good. It had great it had great moments of family and romance and comedy. Yep. And the all the backgrounds of like the the land and the ocean and the sunsets and you know the star scenes coming out at night, just the colors, um, the graphics, everything like about the scenery was um was really fantastic um and i feel like um this is a good sort of a tribute to abba um because abba like i said it's a very popular um uh pop group and there have been a lot of um like cover bands for abba um there's um super trooper gimme 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 there's play all your love on me there's just a lot of great songs and i especially liked um, the choreography in the movie too was was fantastic, and the closing number with Super Trooper and they were dancing and um, with all the choreography. So I thought all the choreography and dancing was fantastic. I thought Pierce Brosnan did a great job. Mm hmm. And like I said, you don't have to be an experienced singer to know how to sing. It just comes naturally. The talent is just they're inside of you sometimes and you don't have to do any lessons or anything like that mm -hmm. so um thank you for joining us for pop culture corner this is zach margaret signing, signing out, out.